Hey, tastemakers, Tanya here. Welcome to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well. Glad you stopped by today. And today I am going through the pantry. I am getting a little hungry. And I haven't been to the grocery store in four weeks, in a month. I've been eating well. And now that I'm on a diet, my doctor put me on a low fat, low carb, no food is like I can't eat anything. Can't have carbs, can't have sugar, can't have fat. I was like, no air diet, no breathing diet, can't do anything. But, and all of my fresh ingredients are gone. Like all my salads, I don't have any salads, any tomatoes. I do have a cucumber. And that's another story in itself. It's like I have a cucumber that still looks good after four weeks. And I was like, yeah, what's going on with our food? So I've uh, showed you guys, and this is what I do when I'm doing videos. And you see me make a bean soup is because I like take half of the beans. I, if there's a two pound, I'll take one pound out of it. So I got pinto beans there and I have uh, these lentils. And I'm going to try lentils again. It's like, I don't, I do everything to cook them and and make them taste good like my other soups my other bean and pea soups like my chickpea soup is banging pinto bean soup black beans everything else i can make uh, black eyed peas black beans all those they taste good but i don't know so i'm gonna try lentils again and uh go into the freezer see if i have any onions i normally like to chop up my onions and freeze some of uh, peppers and celery and gonna see what else I can pull together because it's a cold rainy day and what do I want I want soup but I don't want like a lot of sodium in it oh yeah that's right again I'm on a low sodium diet <sighs> so let's see what we can pull together Hey, I'm in the deep freezer. I did, I have some peppers here. I'm gonna chop those up. And let me show you what I still have from like the holidays. I still have a sweet potato pie. If you watch my other videos, you see I, you know, how I made that. Um, I have some chicken chili. I'm not gonna taste for that because I don't want meat today. Some days my tummy just doesn't want meat. I don't want to be chewing and stuff. All that heavy. You know, this is cornbread dressing from Thanksgiving. You see, November 23rd. Some more cornbread dressing. So, like, on the on Sundays, I like a soul food. So, because I'm no carving it now, look, I have, a, I have some mac and cheese. That mac and cheese and dressing is so good. So I might just have like a, treat myself, just have a, uh, like a tablespoon of the, you know, the bad stuff and combine it with my protein and my vegetables. Okay. Oh, and then here, okay, here's my homemade vegetable stock. See, I always, I always be ready. I just have to defrost that and look, and during Christmas time. Here's some of my homemade chocolate chip, chip pecan cookies. Oh my God, I'm craving one of those. Um, if this isn't a high carb thing, I don't know what is, but you know, I've been working out. Uh, I mean, I do better. My, uh, like my blood sugar does better when I work out. So it doesn't spike that much, you know, so I'm going to, you know, wait a, about another two or three months. And, you know, on my program. And then my, you know, just occasionally add some stuff. Because I can't, life is not worth living if I can't eat some real food. But, you know, I was sedentary. You know, and that's what I want to share with my content creators. We can get so bogged down with being sedentary. Vit editing these videos and just grabbing stuff on the go and that's how you know my blood pressure started going up and 
not sleeping well enough. And I want to see all of you guys, my content creators, I'm talking to y'all now. I want to continue to see y'all's videos. I don't want you to burn out. You get tired. You don't use like, I'm just not, not feeling well because, you know, your body's just doing too much off of too little. Okay, so that's why, that's, you know, why I do the videos that I do. You know, I'm, I'm in there with you, but, you know, I keep, tra tra I keep tracking what's going on with me, especially since I stopped roller skating because I don't have that same perky feeling that I did. So I have to keep track of things. So. We're just going to try to do a little bit better. You get your fresh veggies. You, you use some while they're fresh. You freeze some like that. All right, so let's go back in the house. Okay, fam, I have a tablespoon of, of olive oil. I'm going to saute my onions, peppers. Yeah, just onions and peppers. I'm not putting any celery. And I have some onions and scallions and red peppers, uh, red onions that I pulled together. We had tacos. I had bean burritos. So I'm gonna add a little of those in there. I'm heavy on the onion. Then I rinsed and drained my lentils. So I'm gonna cook the cook the veggies down a little bit. I have my veggies stock in the microwave. It's gonna take maybe 20 to 30 minutes for the lentils to cook in this soup. You see, I think I saw a half of a tomato. This is when I use up stuff. It's like hubby made sandwiches the other day. Have half. He eats the in, the inside of the tomato, and I'll just chop up the ends. Like I'll chop up this part of it and put that in the soup too. And then he can slice the rest of it down for sandwiches. These are going to be Creole lentils, Creole spice lentils. Okay, put a little Creole seasoning. I told you guys it's low sodium. So I just sprinkle a little bit at each stage. Here are the tomato I cut. When I had a cleaning business, I had a couple of uh, clients that were from India. And these were my favorite clients. And one in particular, and she was home with her young son. And uh, she would make lentils. Oh my gosh, it smells. She would put her lentils in the pressure cooker. She had a little pressure cooker about this size. And uh, 
she would put her lentils in there and pressure cook them and have some herbs and spices and garlic and it smelled so good and she would always offer me some and like you know I'm, I'm on the job and I'm like no you know I, didn't. I was like no thank you because I really wasn't hungry I'm I don't think about eating until after I'm done cleaning a house and she would always and you know and I cleaned her house a couple of years and I was like oh no thank you I'm sorry it smells delicious you know so one day she just insisted and she made me a bowl and her lentils were so good yeah, I wish I could make them like this one day. And, you know, with me cleaning her kitchen, you know, I saw the interesting herbs and spices and stuff she had in her kitchen. And, uh, so that's why I always said, I would, you know, I would try them. Okay, now my veggie stock is pretty much done. And lentils suck up a lot of Of, uh, liquid. So we're going to just start with that right now. Stir it up real good, really well. My mom would always correct me. I like to talk slang when I was younger, and she would always says she would always correct me. Okay, so I'm going to turn it up high. I'm going to let it come up to a boil, then I'm going to let it simmer. For about 30 minutes. Okay guys, the lentils are almost done. It smells good in here. I don't know what I did the last time I made lentils where I didn't like them. I don't I think maybe I was trying to make a chili or something. I don't know. I didn't like them. These smell amazing. The house smells so good. And you see how much liquid lentils absorb and I'm cooking these like I do any other soup my foundation is the holy trinity mirepoix I don't use carrots that much because of their glycemic load but I'll use onions peppers cell I didn't use celery this time just onions and pepper and garlic Put and I had and I really perfected my veggie stock. It was perfect, perfectly seasoned, very garlicky, very oniony. And so this is a perfect soup. And then I put um, I put one pound of lentils and I stir and I stir fried my vegetables and I put a quart of my vegetable stock in here and let the lentils simmer for 30 minutes. I still have three minutes left on the on the thing on my timer. So I'm gonna take to see how soft they are. They'll get softer when they sit. Just, just let me see. Mm-hmm, they're perfect, yeah. Yes. Tastes good. I don't know if I had gotten a bad batch the last time. That's why those uh, the half a bag has been sitting in there. So I'm glad I gave them a chance again. So I'm putting a little hot sauce on there so I can have a little acidity. That's the vinegar in the hot sauce okay so we're gonna just go on and make make my lunch I got judge judy in the background I forgot to turn her off i'm just gonna take two spoonfuls i like a lot of broth so i control the sodium these all fresh veggies. And 
I'm not on camera today, guys. It's been raining, and then we had, I found a leak in our roof yesterday, and, um, and we had like this explosion not too far from us. We didn't lose power this time. We lost power two days ago, just for a few minutes, and then there was this weird explosion of a, uh, I don't know, an electricity plant. And so a lot of our neighbors or people a little far, farther away, they, they're out of power. And then I found a leak and then we called the roofing company. So I had like been waiting on them all day and then they just left. And so, you know, I had to show them, you know, what was going on, go up in the attic and stuff. And then I just, you know, showered, put some new clothes on. So I'm not fit for TV. But I wanted to share this recipe with you guys. I'm trying to let this cool down a little bit. I want to share this recipe with you guys because I've done a chickpea soup. We've done a cabbage and chickpea soup. Chickpea soup, pinto bean soup, black beans, and uh, lentil soup. And we're going to have, you know, then we do it. I did a chicken chili. You do a chili so you can have a, a good eight. good eight soup recipes and everything I had in stock. These are good. These are good. I'll be eating lentils a lot more. And I will be trying, I will be making like lentil tacos, lentil chili. So I must have had a bad batch because these are fine. I'll start like, I'll test the, um, the um, like red lentils and all that good stuff. Okay, guys, so I wanted to share that with you. So if you're. You know, trying to go plant based, and you want something that'll stick to your ribs and feed your soul and warm you up. I do recommend lentils. Yes, ma'am. All right, guys. So if you like this content, I appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up. And if you're new here, I would love to have you as a taste maker. All you gotta do is subscribe. If you like my vibe, hit subscribe. Join the Taste Makers Tribe, and I'll be more than happy to uh, to welcome you into the group and would love for you to make any comments or suggestions in the comments section all right okay guys thank you so much i appreciate your support have a great day see you in my next video bye bye mom